the actions that we've seen uh, from this administration actually go go down further than than what you've read about in in stopping the Keystone pipeline and um, and you know he's allowed Nord Stream to go, which of course the Russians enjoy because now they'll be able to send natural gas to Europe and Europe will become more dependent on on um, on Russia gas. Um, but you know he's placed a moratorium on new coal and gas leases in federal lands and waters. Uh, the Interior Department drilling permits are down 75 percent from April. You know, he suspended the leases, the existing leases in Anwar and Alaska. He's announced stricter methane emission regulations on natural gas industries. He's increased fuel mileage standards for automobiles. Uh, the FERC, his FERC that we're looking forward to to try to help solve uh, the offshore uh, wind issues, um, announced it's considering greenhouse gas emissions for all natural gas and LNG, and announced that it's even reviewing the certification process on pipelines. Um, so, uh, and for the president to be calling on OPEC to provide, um, you know, increased oil, he should be calling on the U.S. Uh, producers uh, in the United States. We have shown that uh, we can produce. That's why we are the world's number one leading producer in oil and natural gas. You should be calling on the U.S. producers, Americans, to produce the energy that we need, not OPEC countries or Russia.